Hey folks, it's uh, Donald Ward McCarthy here, Keller Williams again, bringing your update on what properties sold in Bluedale Village for the month of August 2018. So above, you've got the macro update. We've got number of listings uh, up 2%. We've got the average home price in GTA up 3%. Uh, and uh, specifically in our neighborhood, uh, I gave you the figures as well too, is what semis, detached, townhomes and apartments are up. But let's say, uh, dig down into the five sales that actually happened in Bluedale Village. So let's start with 903 Lansdowne. So 903 Lansdowne was on the market. They listed initially at 955, or actually they li listed it initially at 899. They tried to get multiple offers. Offer and I came and went, they didn't get their result. So then they relisted with strategy B, which is the old kind of way uh, houses would have sold in a balanced market where you list it with some margin of negotiation. So basically an offer can come anytime and generally the seller is trying to bargain up, the buyer is trying to bargain down. So listed at 9.55 again and sold just 1% below at 9.50 in seven days. So that was 903 Lansdowne Avenue, semi-detached, two-story. Okay, next was 597 St. Clarence, semi-detached, two-story, 19.42 um, frontage um, by 120 in depth, listed at 799. Um, so they went low enough to pretty much guarantee that they get multiple offers. Uh, and that sold on offer night. It sold for 200 above asking. It sold just under a million at 999. Okay, 69 Emerson. Um, that one was listed at uh, 999. It's a detached home, two story. One of those homes that was built in like the late 60s where you know you've got the drive in. Um, uh, parking and garage in the front uh, of the house. Um, anyways, so that was listed 999 and sold uh, multiple hour. There was a bully offer that came in four days into the listing. So there were a couple of uh, competing offers on that bully offer. It sold for 1,170,000. So 17% above the asking. So good result there for the sellers. Okay, uh, next, this one, 56 Millicent. So um, this one was on the property for quite a while, listed at 1.4 million earlier on this summer. Uh, it was on the market for, God, I think about 60 days or so. It did not sell. Again, price too high for what the buyers out there were looking for. So ultimately that listing expired. So then they dropped the price to 1.299. So it dropped at 100K. So that was a good enough differential between 1.4 and one uh, to 1.3 that buyers would actually kind of go, okay, these guys are serious, let's make an offer. So indeed it did sell after nine days um, for about uh, 50K below asking, sold for 1.253 million. Uh, and that's 56 millicent. It was a detached two-story, 25 foot frontage. So great lot size, um, 25 by 124. Okay. So finally for Bluredale Village, we had a 63 Rosset. Um, <clears throat> Now, Russell's a great little street, um, properties tend to go, they just uh, attain a little bit more. Um, probably there's a, there, there is a good vibe on that street. There's still a lot of the mature trees from 100 years ago. So I do find properties attain um, um, that little bit more uh, as compared to some other streets in the neighborhood. So anyway, 63 Russell came on the market. It was a semi-detached, beautiful renovation, two-story um, <clears throat> uh, with parking and everything, listed at 1.163 million. It was on the market for two days, clearly got a bully offer uh, for 300 above the asking. So sold for almost 1.5, sold for 1.463, a semi-detached in our neighborhood. And we've seen results like that on Russet before for semi-detached products as well too. Um, so there you have it. Those are the five sales in Bluedale Village. Okay. Again, reach out to us if you're thinking of selling or have any questions about investing in the neighborhood. Uh, still a great time to be investing in our neighborhood. Thank you very much. Donald Ward McCarthy with Keller Williams Realty. Ciao.